Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Finally, I'm making this video. I've just had enough. I have to make this video. So, power tools I use as an electrician. As most of you know, I don't like to buy much stuff at all, let alone expensive power tools. Although it'd be helpful, I don't really do that much side work. Um, so, I've had the same two drills for um, like six years now. I bought them in uh, the beginning of 2013. Okay, well maybe, well it's almost six years, so. I got them in like probably like December 2012 or like January 2013 so um, they're coming up on six years old one of them finally died my impact it started smoking I'm not gonna try to fix that I think it's out of warranty but I've had my drill refurbished several times so um, that's on its last leg right now so um, yeah so anyways my old brush drills are uh, on their last leg but I do have I forgot I had both of these here but as you can see, I have a uh, second set right here, a fuel set. Um, I was gonna just get, I was just gonna buy the batteries um, for like I don't know what it was, a hundred or two hundred dollars at the time. Um, but I wanted the 4.0s, the regular XC batteries are a hundred dollars or whatever, and the 4.0s or whatever or twice as big or whatever. So I figured I'd just get a whole another set if I was gonna get the batteries anyways. I think this was like I don't remember how much it was at the time, like. I know it was like a four four hundred and fifty dollar set, but I think I got it for like three hundred or something or two seventy or something. I'm not sure. I got a good deal on it because they're having a special and then like they I don't know, whatever. I didn't get one of the pieces that it came with, so they took off extra money or whatever for it. So anyways, I've used this drill a couple times when I got my when I sent in my old drill to get it uh, refurbished, so there's a ring around it right there that used that's pretty common that the drill rubs up against something and takes the paint off. So anyways um, I do have this backup set brushless. It is noticeably louder than the brush, than the brush because it's like whatever blown air or whatever. I don't know. So, anyways, I've never I've never used this yet. This is uh, the impact fuel. It's got like the three settings or whatever. So, anyways, um, yet to use that. I guess I obviously don't know what I'm doing here. But um, so I got those two sets so I have one drill and then these two drills so my old drill and I'm pointing at the, the, to this to give you an example so I have my old drill not this one and then I have these two this one and this one so I got three power tools right now I sold my sawzall to my coworker, and then I figured why did I do that um, I should have just kept it because it's useful but uh, anyways so the, that's all I have right now I'll show you stuff that I like online and uh, some stuff that I don't like. So give me a second, I'm gonna go look at some pictures and uh, be right back. All right, so some of the power tools I use as an electrician is not my own doing. Um, it's basically what my company, or who you work for buys, whether they want the good stuff or they wanna save money. Uh, I do prefer Milwaukee, it's just what I'm used to, but I do like it as a brand. Um, I'm not opposed to certain other brands depending on the tool mainly. Um, some tools specifically I don't like, like the DeWalt. Uh, I don't like the DeWalt drills, like the big drills, not the impact, just the drills. I don't know, the first time I used it, it, it might have been just a sketchy drill or whatnot, but like I was drilling something, a hole through the wall with an auger bit, and like it kept like twisting a certain way or like kicking or something, I'm not sure, but I felt like it was just a, a really crappy drill, so. I don't know if that was, I don't know. Anyways, I'm traumatized from it, so um, I'll show you um, some stuff here. Let me flip this around here for you guys. All right, so hopefully you guys can see, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, my boss has these two drills right here. The one key, whatever that does, you can program settings or whatever. So this is the new style of uh, Sawzall, the fuelless or the brushless. Um, this is the new style, but I had the old style, the brushed. Uh, I got it for $135 and I sold it for like $85 or whatever, so lost a little bit of money, but whatever. Anyways, should have kept it, but no big deal. So here's some tools that you may or may not use as an electrician. Uh, my boss right now, uh, my second boss, has this uh, rotor hammer. It's really nice. Um, so that's the first time using that. Um, what else we got here? Uh, there's These are pretty common. The... Uh, the whole hog, the small one, I, it's nice, but when it gets stuck, it is absolutely the worst thing ever to try to get the, the bit out. You have to unchuck it or whatever, the, and you have to like twist out the, the drill bit out of the wood or whatever it's stuck in by hand. 
because once this gets stuck, it does not it does not un it does not come out. So it's they need to fix that. It's absolutely annoying. And then I think there's a, there's a bigger version a little bit, and then it has the chuck or whatever. So you have to use the key, which is annoying. But um, so I'm not sure if that one gets stuck as well. But um, definitely definitely annoying on that uh, on that option of drill. Let's see what else they got. Um, my boss also ha my second boss also has this. Use that today to cut a pipe. It's just a big uh, hack saw or whatever they call it. Um, what else they got? I guess they have a roto, another smaller roto hammer. I haven't used that one. Um, there's just so many Milwaukee tools these days. It's ridiculous. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but um, I'll show you some stuff from other brands that I like. There's like one, a few Dewalt things I like, so I'll show you that real quick. I keep thinking that's loading, but it's not. Um, so. Yeah, that's the most part of the Milwaukee stuff that I've used. Um, let me show you some DeWalt stuff. All right, so here's a few pictures of DeWalt stuff. This is one of the drills, not the one that I was scarred from, or I mean traumatized from, but this is the new style of DeWalt drill. I mean, it's all right. It has zero, literally no power. That's the XR, so maybe that one has more power, but there's a, a drill that looks like this that's not XR. Maybe that's it, I'm not sure, but it has absolutely no power. And I feel like it has a hard time driving screws sometimes so I don't know haven't really used it coworkers have it but um, they just have no power what I want to show you guys is the uh, the big um, whatever I'll just find it alright so I think this is it right here it's the um, the big roto hammer I'm not sure what style it is but um, you get that general idea I really like these um, it's probably just what I've used but they're they're good they're plug in one or whatever but um so really like that um but as far as as far as power tools go it basically just how much money you or your boss want to spend or whatnot or what you have laying around um so it depends on whether i'm just repeating myself but it depends on if you want to spend a lot of money or your boss wants to spend a lot of money so um usually it's really just what you have on hand or whatever as far as roto hammers go it could be dewalt milwaukee or there's another brand that's red i think it's like a hawk or something or i forget what it's called but something like that but um for the most part most stuff is pretty good um there's just certain tools that i don't like um so hopefully this video is informative i feel like i'm leaving something out but um i don't know why this video took me so long to make but i apologize but it's here and uh so yeah, that's really all I use is a couple of drills. Right now I've just been using my one drill forever because my impact died a, a while back. So uh, just like drills and sawzalls and uh, maybe a grinder every once in a while. And uh, here's like a, here's a picture of a grinder right here, but that's not the one I've specifically used. But um, yeah, so that's really about all I've used. Um, sometimes there's a this is more not power tools but it's more heavy machinery I guess but you got like your big like three inch pipe bender the horseshoe one that like bends in half um, I've used that it's like a pressurized bender or whatever hydraulic bender and then there's also the triple nickel um, so it's just a big heavy machine and then you put your pipe in and it bends it the other one the whole other machine bends in half so I don't know if you even know what I'm talking about but um yeah, and then of course you got your uh, your skill saws and stuff like that. So whether it's a battery powered one or it's a plug in one, um, that's about it. Um, maybe like band oh yeah band saws. Let me let me show you that real quick. All right, so here we go. Uh, just finally used one of these. Um, I don't know if the battery was dying or what, but um, I feel like this didn't have enough power to cut a, a half inch piece of pipe. So I'm not sure. Um, it just kept getting like stuck or whatnot. I don't know if the blade just not enough power to keep the blade going or whatnot But the bigger one like this one right here is really nice. I really do like that um, so uh, Just a few things and then there's also I mean at my old company. These are really old uh, really old style, but just your plug-in uh, bandsaw right there um, I think that's about it um, yeah, so, all right, I think that's 
the general idea you get what I'm trying to say here so uh, anyways let me know what kind of power tools you guys use um, thanks for watching I appreciate it sorry this video took forever to make I'm going down my list right now on my videos so the next one is what tips to be a better apprentice or how to be a good apprentice or whatever so um, I've been thinking about that at work and stuff that apprentices have done that make me angry or irritate me or stuff I like that they do stuff they do that I like or whatever so uh, that'll be in the next video, so keep the video ideas coming um, if you want me to eventually get around to it when I get to it. So thanks for sticking with me, guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Finally, YouTube updated and just told me, like, my subscriber list or whatever, some of the subscribers that have subscribed in the last, last like, four or six months. whatever For whatever reason, half the time I don't see any of the emails or whoever subscribes to me. So I really do appreciate all you guys subscribing and coming to check out my videos, even though I have been missing for a very long time. I appreciate all the support. It means a lot to me. Uh, God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care. Have an awesome rest of your day.